Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says that his country aims to keep up its effort for peace between Russia and Ukraine, despite the difficulties on the ground. Erdogan made the comments on Thursday in Astana, Kazakhstan, where he is attending a regional SICA summit ahead of a planned meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. He was referring to agreements that Turkey helped broker, which allowed Ukrainians to resume grain exports and led to a prisoner swap between Ukraine and Russia. Turkey has retained close ties with both Moscow and Kiev and has repeatedly offered to organize peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. Ukrayna'daki krizin bölgesel ve küresel ölçekteki etkilerini hepimiz yakından hissediyoruz. Adil bir barışın diplomasi yoluyla sağlanabileceğini, savaşın kazananı, adil bir barışın ise kaybedeni olmayacağını hep söylüyoruz. Meanwhile, NATO defense ministers arrived for talks in Brussels on Thursday, aiming to help bolster Ukraine's aerial defenses after a widespread Russian assault across the country early this week. UK Defence Minister Ben Wallace, US Secretary of Defence Leloy J. Austin III, and German Defence Minister Christine Lambrecht are seen arriving. NATO's exercise dubbed Steadfast Noon is held around the same time every year and runs for about one week. It involves fighter jets capable of carrying nuclear warheads, but does not involve any live bombs. Conventional jets and surveillance and refueling aircraft also routinely take part. In the almost eight months since Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered his troops into Ukraine, the 30 nation military alliance has been trading a fine line as an organization, providing only non lethal support and defending its own territory to avoid being dragged into a wider war with a nuclear armed Russia. Individual allies, though, continue to pour in weapons and ammunition, including armored vehicles and air defense or anti tank systems. This is a routine exercise and it's all about readiness. You know, today, at, you know, the NATO meeting is all about making sure we are ready for anything. I mean, that is the job of this alliance, is to make sure that the 30 partners together are ready for what is thrown at us and we have to continue work at that. And so exercising is part of that readiness.